Hello everyone. To all the curious kids out there, let's develop an application today. You don't have to be a coding wizard to get started. Follow along with me and see yourself creating an amazing real-time application. I am Subita from Nerd is Nerd. Let's not waste time and get started. So today I'm here to teach you how to create BMI application in code.org. Now let me tell you what BMI stands for. BMI is body mass index which measures the body fat based upon the weight in relation to your height. Now the basic requirement for this application is just the height and weight of your body. And the BMI formula is weight in kilograms by height in meter square now these are the basic measurements that are set by the health organization now let me show you the application that we are going to create this way so uh, i'll just give in the random values to show how this work let's give the height as 178 and weight has 60 now click on calculate bmi yeah so 19 is the bmi value and it also shows the status as you are healthy now let's change the value to 45 click on calculate bmi yeah if you can see the status has been changed to underway now we are going to develop the same application today uh, for that go to code.org create app lab and you get this page now for every project there are three steps one is designing second would be writing the code the third is running the application to see how it works now let's start designing for that switch to the design tab here now let's just look at this here i have used labels this is text input this is text area and this is button you get all these in the design toolbox here you just need to drag and drop it onto the screen now let's go select a theme i'm just going to select a random one like this one yeah now drag the label onto the screen and let's start editing this so this would be our heading so i want to display as body mass index you can change all the properties here i'm just going to change the font size to 25 yeah and the alignment to center let's change the color to maybe blue yeah this looks good now for the background you can click onto the screen copy the background color here and paste it in the background here so that it will be the same one perfect now let's go uh, start giving the next label this would be my height label so one thing that you have to remember is make sure you change the id here and keep it a relevant one so that it will be easy for us when we write the code now since it is height let me change the label to height LBL okay, and the font size to maybe 50. Perfect. Now I'm going to duplicate this. If you want to duplicate, you can do it. This is one of the easiest method. Otherwise, you can just drag and drop this is into in, onto the screen. Now let's edit this. This would be our weight and edit the ID as weight LBL. Perfect. I don't want to change anything. Now uh, the next label would be our result label. For that, I want to display is it here as your BMI and change the ID as result LBL. And let's change the font size to 50. Perfect. Now let's add in the text input. here this is the height input so let's change this to height and i want the user to uh, give the values in centimeter so i'm just going to write in cm now let's duplicate this for the weight drag and drop it and change this to weight and this to kg kilograms nothing else 
good to go. Now let's add the button. Okay. Let this be a cal button and let's change this to the text to calculate BMI. I don't want to change anything. Good to go. Now let's add the text area. So this would be the status here it will show the status so I don't want to change the ID so I'm going to keep it same but if you wish to you can change it let's see if we have missed anything oh uh, no perfect now this is that's it this is the designing part now let's switch to the coding now let's start writing the code for that switch to the code tab here now looking at the design we have to declare three variables that is for height weight and result you get all the required blocks here you just need to drag and drop this into the workspace now let's start declaring the variables go to variables drag and drop this block so for height so be our height and weight and result Okay, now let's check the functionality of the app. When I click on Calculate BMI, it has to take the input from here and assign that to the variables. For that, go to UI Control, drag and drop on event block, change this to Cal button. Now it has to read the variable, right? The value, right? For that, change this to height and go to UI Control since we are giving the input in numbers so get number and change it to height input now the same for the weight drag and drop this variable change it to weight go to ui control get number and change this to weight input two. now for the result here we'll be writing the formula so the formula is weight by height in meter square now we'll be writing the code uh, the formula in centimeters because we have asked the user to give it in centimeters now for that go to math you have all the required blocks here you just need to drag and drop it carefully here now let's write the formula mm, so the formula is weight in kilograms by height in meter square so i'm writing the formula in centimeters um so height by 100 once one meter is equal to 100 centimeter now height by 100 now it has to now let's go to ui set ui control go to set property it has to show the result right so let's assign that to the result label it should be in text and here it has to show the result all right now let's check this um, click on run now let's give the value for height as 178 and weight as 60 calculate BMI yes now here if you can see we can uh, see 18.937 is the BMI value so now let's write the code for the text area so here I want to display the status of the person where he falls in uh, let's look at the BMI measurement yeah if a person's measurement is below 18.5 then it has to show in the text area as underweight and same as below now let's start writing the code for that so I'm using the statement if else so go to the control select the if else block and drag and drop it here now the first condition I would give is less than uh, if the result is less than 18.5 then in the text area it has to show as drag and drop the set property here in the text area 
this would be text area one here it is text and here it has to show as you are underweight right uh, the next condition for that just press plus here the next condition will give two conditions here okay so just select the operator block and drag and drop it here so first condition would be if the result is greater than 18.5 and if the result is less than 24.9 then it has to show as healthy so go to UI control drag and drop the set property change this to text area 1 and this to text and here you are healthy I'll just drag it here a little bit. Then third condition would be, let's go to math again. Drag and drop this. Greater than, then less than. Yeah, if the result is greater than uh, 25.0, and the result is let's look at the pmi here okay 29.9 29.9 then it has to show in the text area as for that drag and drop set property again change this to text area one this to text and here it should sh show as you are overweight okay if this can if it is not falling in any of this condition then it has to show as you are obese for that drag and drop set property and change this to text area one this as text and change this to you are obese. That now let's see if it works. Click on run, give the value as uh, 178, and here let's give 60 again. Click on calculate BMI. Yeah, if you can see the BMI value is here, and it also shows the status as healthy. Now to change this uh, BMI value from the floating number to a nearest integer, you can just add math.round. So let's do that. For that, go to show text. Now, this is an easy way to write than using block. So I'm going to write here math.round. back to show block now let's see give the value here click on run 178 and wait as 60 calculate BMI yeah if you can see the BMI value has changed to the nearest integer that's it this is how you make a BMI application I hope you were able to follow the video and create BMI application the text version of this app making is also available. The link is in the description below. Do check it out. Thank you for watching.